Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and in today's video I'm going to be going over my pre-order haul, some of the updates to the Close to My Heart and Stamping Up agreement, and then the last comparison of Close to My Heart and Stamping Up items. So right here is the Unbound Beauty Suite and I'm going to call it a mega suite. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's called, but it's awesome because it comes with two stamp sets and two sets of dies and these are beautiful. So I got the got the whole suite. Unfortunately, the suite will not be available until the 13th of May. It was a very popular suite and us demonstrators kind of bought out of it already, but it will be returning and it is gorgeous. So these are just the resin dots. These are little flat dots in the colors that are in the suite, but these are the 2024 to 26 in colors. The only color it is missing is Berry Burst, which is also in this collection. Otherwise, this whole collection features the new in colors. Here is the first stamp set. These are absolutely gorgeous sentiments. I like how some of it is script and some of it is written. This is in Photopolymer, which I absolutely love. This is the other one, which is more or less just the flowers. It is beautiful. These are two-toned or two-step stamping and they're just gorgeous. This is going to be so fun to play with. They come with matching dies, and now these dies do come in a bigger envelope than the other ones that I have shown. These ones are for the flowers, and more than likely I will put this on a magnetic sheet and keep it with the stamp set, just because it coordinates completely with them. This I could probably use, you know, on another project, but for the vast majority of these, they do coordinate with the stamp set, so I like to keep them together if they coordinate. Now these ones, I'm going to have to think of a new system because this is all very different to me, where I'm going to keep these probably in the envelope and maybe mark that it matches the other stamp set, which is called Unbound Love. But this one you could easily use with another sentiment stamp set because it's just a bunch of beautiful frames and some leaves. So this one I'll definitely keep separate. Here is the gorgeous paper pack. The one thing I will say that's different about Close to My Heart and Stampin' Up is Close to My Heart would come with a zip strip on top. So it would be the 12 by 12 paper with an extra half inch of a zip strip, which was always decorated on one side. And on the other side, it would say the color uh, that coordinated with it and then the the name of the pa the paper pack. So that is one thing that I just will either have to get used to or maybe that is something that Stampin' Up! will bring later on. But I do, I did enjoy the zip strip that was on top because I could refer to it and it was an extra piece of half an inch that I could use throughout my layouts or on cards. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I've already flipped it over to kind of show you both sides. And I think this is the first paper pack that I literally love every paper. There's sometimes you get paper, you know, and you're like, oh, this pattern's okay, I'll use the other side. And some of it's like, oh, I love that paper. I want all the paper in that color or in that pattern. And this one, I actually enjoy all of them. So my intent with these, I ordered the suite with scrapbooking in mind. And I plan on using this with the coordinating 12 by 12 cardstock to make some gorgeous layouts. So here are all the papers kind of laid out. Again, it's double-sided. You get the patterns, one on each side, and it's all just beautiful. It is seriously, this. these are my colors. This is my color scheme. This is just unbelievably gorgeous. I love it. The one thing I will say that Stampin' Up! does do that does make it a little convenient is they do list the DSP name on the back on this kind of carrier sheet. This is just like a piece of thicker cardstock and they will list what it's called and then the colors that coordinate with it as well. So there are a few other colors that coordinate with this pack besides the new in colors, but I did get the new in colors 12 by 12 because they coordinate quite well. Then in that suite, you get some glimmer paper. So this is gorgeous. And this is in all of the new end colors. And same thing on the back. Oh no, not on the back of this packaging. Not on the back of this packaging, but these are all the new end colors. So this, all these colors are P, 
Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. And again, these are all the new in colors and they coordinate with that set. So speaking of the new in colors, I did, like I said, got the new in color items. I went ahead and got the little six by six DSP in the in colors. So this is really convenient for card making, but you can use it for scrapbooking too. So don't be afraid to use six by six sheets on a scrapbooking. There are definitely a lot of ideas of what you can use with this. So don't let the little six by six kind of intimidate you. If you're typically a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, you can always use these patterns on a layout as well. I've watched some really awesome videos on how people have utilized it as well. So you get, I think 48 sheets and on the little package, it also tells you the colors that go in them. So these are just really pretty, two-sided, whole bunch of paper to work with. Then I got the card stock and I did get it in eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12, just because the 12 by 12 will be for the layouts. And then the eight and a half by 11, I will use for cards and other paper projects, boxes, things like that. I wanted to show you the inks and a little hack that I learned about the inks too. So I got all of the new ink colors. Again, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash, which again, being all honest, I absolutely adore all of these colors. And usually that doesn't happen. There's sometimes where I have a favorite and I love all of these. So this one, I'm actually gonna fix this because this is bothering, it's not on straight. And I'm gonna show you the little hack that I learned that I just thought was so genius. So this hack is actually from a fellow demonstrator called Jackie or named Jackie William. And her handle on YouTube is Stamp Happy NZ. And she actually shared this and I thought, wow, it's so simple but so ingenious. So the back of Stampin' Up! ink pads all come with these labels and They'll come with two, currently they come with two in English and one clear. So you already saw that I put the one here. And that's for when I have all the inks stacked up, I can read them. All right, simple. But then this clear one, what she did was she took it and put it on the inside. And I just thought that was so genius because I have already had a bunch of colors laid out and not knew, didn't know which ones were what shade. So this way, like just for an example, they look very similar when you just look at the ink pad, but you can see by looking at that little strip of color that this is Shy Shamrock and this one is Summer Splash. Now, since two of them are coming in English, and if you are in an English speaking country, you could easily just put the the extra one that is in English in the inside as well. And then you definitely know what color it is. So I thought that was pretty cool. I also got the, let's see here, these are called the shimmer gems because I love shimmer, I love shine. So these are the coordinating colors. These are the 24 to 26 in colors, but in the shimmer version. So I got those as well. I also purchased the coordinating ribbon. So all of the in color stuff I purchased. This ribbon is very nice. It'll be really fun to work with. It'll be good for tying bows, good to put over boxes. This is definitely going to be something fun to work with and it does have a little bit of texture on it. So to keep it from unraveling because it just comes in like a plastic shrink wrap, you cut that off. I always put a glue dot at the end. That way I can just keep it on there and it doesn't come unraveling because this stuff will unravel. So with that, I also got the Stampin' Blend Markers. So for anyone who is with Close to My Heart, they know that Close to My Heart contracted with Spectrum Noir. And Spectrum Noir would have these tri-blend markers, which these are awesome, but they weren't in the Close to My Heart colors, so we kind of had to play the guessing game all the time of, does this actually match the color? It's close enough? you know, and kind of go that way. These are guaranteed to match, and I got them all in the new in colors. And just to kind of show you what you get, so you get two different ones. You get a darker and a lighter shade in the package. And then they have two different nibs. So this one's more like for writing, 
and this one's more like a paintbrush. And these are alcohol markers that you can shade and do all sorts of beautiful artwork with. I'm not the best at alcohol marker coloring, but I'm definitely going to be working on it. Close to my heart would also carry what is called a shimmer brush, and you can tell this is used and loved and old. So this is what their shimmer brushes look like, and Stampin' Up! uses what's called Wink of Stella. They are very similar. You open them the same way, and you use them the same way. So I'm just going to kind of compare the, ooh, that kind of spurred out lots of gold with the Wink of Stella, which kind of has this like more subtle gold tint to it. So this really isn't like apples to apples comparison, but you can definitely tell they work the exact same way. We'll just do that. They add a little bit of shimmer to your project. This is almost more like a silver gold kind of added to it. This is definitely gold gold, uh, but these are the Wink of Stella and they are currently back in stock. They were out of stock for quite a long time. So I'm excited to have something in my arsenal that will add a little bit of shimmer in the areas that I need it to. The other things I want to compare are the blacks. So Stampin' Up! and Close to My Heart, neither one has the wood blacks anymore where it kind of is attached to it permanently. They went to the um, acrylic black type of use and they are different. So you can see just looking around, these are comparing two by two to two by two. The one thing I will say I liked about Close to My Hearts, and I'm not sure if you can even see this, there's a line on it that you could line up your stamp on it to make sure that it was straight. But the thing I didn't like is the edge was always very sharp. You know, it's not sharp enough to cut you, but it was definitely not as easy to hold um, and as comfortable in your hand than the Stampin' Up! ones, which are rounded all over. And you know, both work great, but just kind of wanted to let the close to my heart makers know that the blacks are a little different. And in my personal opinion, I think they are just um, more user friendly. So close to my heart and stamping up both had chamois and you can see there's definitely a difference, not just in the color, but in the thickness. But don't you fret, they work the exact same way. You just wet it down, you clean off your stamp and you let it dry. Now I've seen some demonstrators that will keep it in a case to kind of keep it moist all the time. I just usually set mine out to dry. I set it out flat, it dries, and then I just wet it as needed. And again, very similar. They work the exact same way. Both awesome products. Stampin' Up! has its own little cutter. So the difference, I guess, would be they look very similar. Like the Close to My Heart um, die cut machine and the Stampin' Up! die cut machine were very similar, kind of similar shapes. This is the mini one, and I got the mini one because A, I thought it was super cute, but it's also very portable, and a lot of dies will fit in it. Works the same way, you put those down, and they have the plates. So they have their own as well, and it, I do like the mini version. I will probably get the larger one as well somewhere down the road, but I really thought this one, if you're just starting out, a lot of the dies fit into them, and it's a really good value. I think it's like 60 some dollars, so it's in US. So it's not, it's not an expensive investment. It works really well. I've used it on several projects already, and I really like it. Uh, Stampin' Up! also has their own trimmer. So this is a little different than Close to My Heart. They would contract with Fiskars. This is Stampin' Up!'s trimmer, and it comes with, you know, standard trimming blade and the um, embossing blade, I guess you would say. And then the arm just kind of comes out, so you get longer pages. So don't you don't have to worry about cutting, you know, 12 by 12. It goes all the way up to 17, so you definitely have plenty of space to cut out if you are cutting the 12 by 12. Now, the updates that I'm really excited about with Stampin' Up! and Close to My Heart. So the agreement was made and official, and in my last video I talked about how there's a new joining offer and that makers can come over in April and then officially join in May and start selling items. And they do have the opportunity to sell items that would have been in their May-June catalog, but they also have the opportunity to sell items that would have been in their July and August catalog. So what was officially told to us is there will be 12 by 12 albums. The flip flaps will be coming. We don't have any specifics on the sizes of flip flaps, but they will be coming. 
memory protectors will be coming. Again, not anything specific on the sizes, definitely the 12 by 12, but they might carry other shapes and sizes as well. Essentially, they said they will figure out which ones are needed and they'll probably go off of which ones are the best sellers. I typically, you would use the 12 by 12 and sometimes the six by 12 to add extra photos in it. The two-tone white cord cardstock will be coming later this year in Stamping Up Colors. Now, I know a lot of people are super excited about that. It's really fun to use the white cord cardstock because when you rip it, it's obviously showing white. And it's going to be two-tone, which is something close to my heart was known for. So it would have one of the true color and then the opposite side would be the lighter color. So you're really almost getting two colors on one sheet of paper. So that's really cool that they're bringing that over. They also made the comment that they won't just be selling the 12 by 12 in the combo packs, which is awesome. That's something that Close to My Heart Makers asked for. That's something that I asked for. So I'm really excited that we'll be able to purchase 12 by 12 colors or in a single color. So if I needed just a 12 by 12 pack of Summer Splash because I'm making a summer album and that is the color of choice, I'll be able to purchase that. Um, the eight and a half by 11 will still be the milled. So it'll still be completely dyed through. So they're not changing the eight and a half by 11 cardstock and that will still be sold individually and in the color combo pack. Workshop kits for scrapbooking. Now, Close to My Heart was known for their workshop kits. It's very similar to sweets, but it's obviously more geared towards scrapbooking. So the workshop kits would usually come with pattern paper, 12 by 12 cardstock that coordinated, an embellishment, and sticker sheets. So the sticker sheets are going to be coming, which I am so excited for. And they also mentioned laser cut products. So that could be a whole bunch of things. But the sticker sheets, I loved Close to My Heart sticker sheets. They were very high quality. They would, you would be able to use them on scrapbook pages. You can use them on cards. You can use them on gift boxes. Like there is a whole slew of things that you can use them for. They will be hosting a virtual album event. Again, nothing is like no dates have been set, but this is something that they will, are looking into. Since National Scrapbooking Day was not something Stampin' Up! focused on before, it's going to be something that they are going to focus on in the future. They may add, now this is may, add SVGs in the future. That is definitely way down the road. They are going to concentrate on physical products first. So just letting you know that. But my favorite part of this whole announcement was that there will be four workshops, which is what Close to My Heart called them. And I think it's what Stampin' Up! is going to call them as well. There will be four workshops. Again, it would always have Pretty Pattern Paper, which is DSP in Stampin' Up! World, the coordinating cardstock, and sticker sheet, and some sort of embellishment. And sometimes that could be ribbon, sometimes that would be ribbon and, sometimes it would be gems, sometimes it would be laser cut products, it would be, you know, whatever fit that particular workshop. They will have four released sometime in September to December timeframe, so the last quarter of the year, essentially. They will have four workshops, Halloween themed, autumn, and two Christmas. And I'm so excited because it is exactly what I wanted for when both companies had talks about um, their agreement. I was really hoping this is something that they were going to do. So I'm very excited about that, especially since Halloween, autumn, and Christmas is mainly what I scrapbook. I scrapbook throughout the year, but I probably do most scrapbooking in the fall and winter months, if I'm going to be honest. They're also looking into making a card making kit. Close to my heart is known for card making kits, very similar to their Scrapbooking workshops, but they are called card making kits or card making workshops. Very similar. Usually would have a coordinating stamp and die with it and all the instructions listed out on how to make the cards. And obviously you could follow them to a T or you could just go rogue and make them however you see fit. There will be four stamp sets released that will have more of a scrapbooking feel to them because with scrapbooking, you definitely need bigger stamps um, especially if you're going to have any kind of sentiment on it it needs to be larger because they are focusing on the 12 by 12 format and then they will release four sets of the two-tone cardstock packs they didn't specifically say what those were but there are four color suites or color collections there's the regals 
the neutrals, the subtles, and the brights. So I'm only assuming that they're going to be in those. And what's exciting is it's going to be the two-tone white core, but in the Stampin' Up! colors. So come September, the Close to My Heart makers who decide to join now will really have kind of a four-month period to still sell Close to My Heart products that would have been sold had the company not closed. And by the time fall comes around, which really is like the biggest crafting season, they will have been, you know, acclimated to the website, acclimated to the selling system, acclimated to just like the the family and the feel that Stampin' Up! is. So they will totally be involved. And by September and December, there will be products released that they're very much so used to, but in the Stampin' Up! colors and the Stampin' Up! world and under the Stampin' Up! umbrella. So I'm very, very excited about this entire agreement with Close to My Heart and Stampin' Up! This really does seem like it is going to be the best of both worlds. I really did, um, I just, I love that this is happening. So just a little bit of, you know, what's going to happen down the road. Again, nothing's going to happen overnight. This all is going to take time, but it's going to be just such a beautiful um, I guess, agreement between the two companies. I'm not even sure what word to use, but it's, it's going to be so fun to be able to use the workshops, but under the Stampin' Up! umbrella. So again, and that um, the joining offer is still good until the end of April. And then, you know, all of the makers that are coming over, I'm so excited to see them in the, we have a Facebook group, so they're gonna be joining that. And it's just gonna be so nice to get their ideas and their passion for all of this and it's just going to be such a fun creative time in the near future so thank you so much as always for joining me um, have a wonderful rest of your day if you're watching this during the day or night whenever you're watching this thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i will see you all next time and as always happy crafting